I think it's changed a lot. Um, I think if you look at technology leaders today, whether you're a CTO or a CIO, you're really more of a business leader. You know, you're, you're helping drive the business with technology, enabling the business with technology, you know, versus the past, you were sort of the guys in the data center who shoved the carbs in it or put the tape in it or installed the PCs. Um, now people really see IT as an enabler. Um, you know, certainly if you're in a product development role and you're building software and building product, you're very much driving where the company is going, what sort of products you should build, how you should build them. Um, but even in traditional companies like manufacturing companies and healthcare companies, you're really getting in there and having, if, for example, if you're a healthcare organization, having discussions with doctors and talking about how you can improve patient flow through the hospital, how you can improve uh, patient interactions. So I think the big change I've noticed through my career is, you, you, I, I say get out of the data center, right? You know, the CTOs have really gotten out of the data center. They've really got, you know, a, a seat at the table and uh, you know, I think a very important seat at the table because every business today is struggling um, with leveraging technology and, and taking technology and really helping drive and, and change their business. I mean, think about, uh, think about like some of the, the, uh, the things that are just completely changing whole industries today. Airbnb completely changing the hotel market. Um, think about like Uber changing the taxi market. I mean, I think folks have proven uh, if you leverage technology, you can create a ton of opportunity for the company. And I think a lot of companies are figuring that, hey, if we don't do it, you know, these startups and these other companies will. That's a, that's a good question. Um, take a little more risk. You know, I, I think you're there, you're working for a business, you want a successful business. I think sometimes, you know, when I was younger in my career, I didn't take as many risks as I probably would have. Uh, I think there's ways to take risk and, and, and not impact the business. So figuring out how you can take a look at newer technologies, you know, and there's a lot of new technologies that are coming up today. I'm going to talk about in my, you know, uh, speech about intelligent systems um, and where that world is going. So I think sort of embrace it. Don't hide from it. Don't be scared of it. Figure out how you can do it. Um, how you can do it in the lab, how you can do it in the research facility, try it out, small pilots, small betas, and roll it out and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then change it and start over again. So I think in a lot of cases, like myself as a CTO, maybe even others, I, I was trying to get everything right, um, being a little too risk adverse and, you know, my older, wiser self, which you think would be the opposite of that. I'm like, let's take a little more risk. <laughs> Uh, I think it t sort of ties to the prior qu uh, question, which is I think as the CTO and the CIO positions have been more strategic and more business focused, um, you're put in a, a place where now you're, you're, you're at the table, you're having to contribute and make big decisions, which themselves are risky. Um, you know, so I think that sort of drives more of the risk taking. I do think you know, startups are certainly uh, in some cases risky. But even doing things in a big company are risky. You know, the, the whole, I'm going to work for a company for 40 years and retire from there. I mean, there's not many people that do that anymore. And I think part of it gets to the innovation. Things are changing all the time. Companies are changing all the time. You know, Teradata is a different company today than it was 10 years ago. It'll be a different company 10 years from now. Um, so I think all companies are, are, are adapting themselves to be more uh, risk tolerant and, and do more risky things just because they're having to. I think they're, they're waking up and going, hey, if I don't, someone else will. You know, the access to capital, the access to IT resources um, are just so much more plethora than they ever were. You know, two guys in a garage um, can build an app that can have a billion users in a year. That, you couldn't have done that 20 years ago. So I think all these things that are happening that are really transforming our world are really pushing, whether you're a startup company or a legacy company, to, to, to really take more chances and more risk. I think, I think folks are starting to get that. Teradata, um, the division that I'm part of, is we do marketing software. And we build marketing software for marketing people. And we're really about making in the marketing department more efficient and helping them have a better relationship with their consumer, so whoever's buying their goods. That's what we're all about. 
So we have all sorts of marketing software from sort of A to Z. You know, we have operations software and email and social and mobile and customer interaction and marketing analytics, all to better help them do their job. But at the end of the day, we're helping them build a better relationship with their customer, and that's what we're all about.